Hello everybody and welcome to my updated version about the read more read less toggle in Bricks Builder. I have changed the complete source code from jQuery to JavaScript to make it more compatible or at least um, more performant with Bricks 1.4 and also I have adapted the code to um, make it um, compatible with the smaller DOM size from Bricks 1.4. I have also invested some time to um, kind of update the website where you can find the tutorials. There is now a full list with an, with an search option and you can um, also, um, I have connected some kind of um, yeah good enhancements which you can use if you want to um, tweak that element. So for example, here for the tabs element, there is a short snippet uh, which helps you um, opening default tabs. Um, I will regularly update those snippets um, because they are a neat and short way how you can improve those elements. Um, another thing is that I have um, provided all the source code in a child team now. So if you head over here to GitHub, you just have to click code and click download zip and install it as a normal theme. Um, that doesn't add anything to your website, but it makes all the um, files available for later usage. So you don't have to care um, about that source code anymore. So you don't have to copy and paste all that code. You just need a few lines of code to make it run and work. And that's easier to set up if you don't have any coding experience but I will show you that later. Um, let's start, I show you how to set up the read more, read less toggle. So I just add here a site, hit publish and add it with bricks. Um, first, what you need to do is um, you need to have a certain layout. So I'm just gonna place here a container, but you could um, also just simply use a text element. Um, but if you want to have a more complex layout, you would need to wrap it in a container. So that's why I do it here. Um, I'm just gonna add here a few lines to make it a bit bigger so that you can see what's going on. Um, just one moment here. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that now. Doesn't matter. Um, okay, what you need to do then is um, you need to place a button or an icon as sibling of that element, which means that it has to be in the same um, hierarchical level. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. There is one last step. You just need to add an attribute to that um, container element which is um, wcd underscore rm rl underscore percentage, which indicates that it's a percentage value um, or the height of the, of the toggle will be a, a percentage value. And yeah, that's pretty much everything you need to set up. So it's quite easy. Um, for the last step, um, you just, as you can see here, you just need one line of code to make that source code available. And then you just need to initialize the read more, read less toggle um, by a few lines of code. So what you need to do is just copy that here and paste it here in a code block. And the cool thing about it is that you don't need to worry about where to place that code block because um, that script here automatically gets um, gets applied to the footer and also with that add action function here, um, the, the code which is needed for initialize the read more, read less tag, uh, toggle will get automatically applied to the footer too. So um, what you need to do is if you have um, a button here, like I have it, um, and you want to, probably you want to change that um, text by clicking that button 
um, you will need to pass a text for the read less and the read more text. If you have, um, for example, an icon, you wouldn't need to do that. But for a button, it's probably helpful if you can change that text. Um, that's all. Hit execute code and save. And when I open that page here on the front end, okay, it closed bricks now. Um, when I open that page here on the front end, as you can see, um, it doesn't show up the whole content and I can click read more, read less, which doesn't look very smooth right now, but you can um, simply change that by going to that container and add um, a CSS transition. I have um, decided to make all elements um, as minimal as possible so that you can have more or less full control over how they behave. So in the old version, there was a transition applied by default. Um, now I decided to remove all that stuff so you can kind of tweak um, how the behavior um, should look like or how you want it to look like. So now I have added here a transition and after reloading that page, as you can see, it now opens and closes more smoothly. Um, yeah, that's it. So there is also a list of the options available in all tutorials. And if you don't want to use the child team, you could just copy that source code here. Um, and then you have to uh, remove that line and just initialize it. Um, that's it. Hope you like it. and. If you have any questions or face any issues, just let me know. I hope that I can answer you any questions.